Uh, I'll start with Macy Barber. Back right here. Obviously, you're coming off one of the most impressive wins of your career. You made a little bit of noise talking about Juliana. Juliana responded. It seems like you even teased going up to 135. So I guess my question is, what's next for you in your fight career? If I was offered that fight at 135 to fight Juliana, I'd do it tomorrow. Um, I'm trying for that fight, but we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I'm actually supposed to talk with Hunter and Mick soon, so I should have an answer for that soon. But uh, I totally would go and take that belt from Juliana. I think for me, you know, I'm riding that high of just finishing Amanda Hebus and uh, getting ready to see what's next. And, you know, the sky really is the limit for me. So it's just life is, it's, life is a high for me. I have a little Thank bit you. to add to that, too. Um, I think that it's also uh, with every single fighter in the, in the UFC and every single fighter as a whole, um, a lot of us have a why. And I feel like that's what drives us, not just in the third round, but also in the gym. You know, it's not just easy for us to wake up every single day and, and get punched in the face and to go work out when we don't want to or to be sore. And that's when you really come in and you, you take into accountability your why. And that is something that drives every single one of us. You know, some of us have kids. Some of us have past trauma that we've gone through. Some of us have family that they need to take care of. And I think that that is what, at the end of the day, when you're in the hard situations, you go down and you go back to that and you remember exactly why you are doing what you do. And that's what drives us all, I think. Uh, I'm a lot like Misha, actually. I don't listen to a whole lot of music in the back. I don't really, you know, if people have music on in the back, I'm, I'm okay with it, but I don't really care to put on songs and, and music when I'm training and all of that. But uh, I get made fun of a lot in the gym because I like to listen to country while I work out. So, <laughs> yeah. Macy, correct me if I'm wrong when you talk about being backstage. Do you nap before your fights? No. I don't. I don't nap, but I I do bring a like a fuzzy blanket. I do. Chill. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I always <laughs> bring a fuzzy blanket, but it's for the hand wrapping. I just I don't know. I like to be comfortable. <laughs> yes, I remember seeing that. Oh, uh, so Macy, Macy, do I got a shot? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Do, what? Do I got a shot? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> shoot or shoot. I'm sorry. Oh man. What's up, guys? Macy, do you want do you want to Hudo? <laughs> do I want to Hudo? No, I want my rematch with Alexa Grasso. Okay. This question's uh, for Macy. We just saw you in Jacksonville. Per beautiful performance. Uh, who would you say is your biggest rival besides PJ and Zan? You got it. <laughs> Well, I think it's pretty obvious it's Juliana Pena right now. That's right. Uh, but thank you for watching the fight. I agree. Did you expect to have the beef? With, did you expect that to happen? Like, for her to respond to what you had said? No, but I, I also am pretty vocal about what I think. And, you know, I thought that what she said against uh, Amanda was pretty ridiculous. So I'm, I'm not surprised. And I'm going to say what I want to say. And she came back. So if she wants to fight, I'll fight her. Excellent. We would watch for sure.